Welcome back guys, hope you are doing great, it's Vitri here. So, so far we finally finished the project which we are talking about for a quite long time which is the uh, used vehicle sales website, uh, sorry the listing website where the user can uh, list out their used vehicles or cars or bikes, whatever it is, right? So, uh, we break it into two different parts, part one and part two. So, overall, it is crossed up to like 16 hours of video. So, we break it into 12 hours and another four hours as a two different parts of videos. So, on the part one, you guys going to learn how to create this nice UI homepage, UI vehicles, add, create, edit form, UI and database management. And... Uh, yeah, these are the actions that you're going to uh, do on the part one. And on the part two, you're going to create a chat UI where the user can interact with the owner and the customer. And we're going to work with the analytics and we're going to create an uh, uh, interactive form for the contacts. Right. And we're going to deploy the project on the live server where in the Versal. So these are the things that you're going to learn in this course. Right. So basically, this course is all about uh, how to work with the Next.js with TypeScript, how to use the Shatz in UI, and how to use the Clerk authentication, and how to use the Prisma and MongoDB together, and how to use the Firebase for handling your data storage for your images or videos or files, anything. Right. So these are the things that we are going to cover in this entire course. So. Uh, Stay tuned for the part one and part two. So both of the part one and part two will be uploaded at the same day and same time, probably by tomorrow evening or by a day after tomorrow morning. So still we are waiting for the video to be processed to the hasty version. So stay tuned and we will be notified. We will notify you once it has been successfully processed and the exact time and date will be uploaded. Right. So and yeah. So let me explain what exactly that we are going to build in this project. So you can see we have this uh, nice UI which is looks stunningly materialistic and it is com uh, completely responsive, right? So we I logged in with two different IDs. One is the customer ID and another one is the admin ID. So left side is the customer and the right side is the admin. So as a customer, he can directly, uh, as a user, even if you don't log in, you can able to filter the records by filling all these fields over here. What is the price range and price to, and uh, from which location to location. Uh, if you're looking for no accidents vehicles, just if you click the search, that is going to take you to the search page, right? Where I can able to see the vehicles, which is not, uh, coming under that sp uh, specific report so, and you can see this is the updated URL over there and I can simply clear the filters and so I can see the list of entire list of vehicles over here and we do have different sets of category filtering filtering options over here radio buttons and dual slide bars where I can uh, filter the record for price and years for instance let's say I'm looking for a vehicle which is comes under the uh, 50,000 to 150,000 category so I can adjust it to 50,000 something like this 50,000 and I can adjust it to until like uh, 4 lakh something so that is going to give me the entire list of vehicles still it is coming so let me reduce to 1 lakh 80,000 so that is going to apply see now the entire it is filtering the record so the dual slide bar which is working perfectly and as the same way we can adjust the manufacturing year as well as so from 2002 2010 or something so currently in that specific year we don't have any specific vehicles right so you can clear the data instantly and you can filter the data by using uh, make wise where you can add the so where you can search for any specific make over here like bmv lamborghini and all those things and you can choose the uh, state or for which specific state if you're this currently it's listing out the states for the uh, from india and it's not using we are not using the google places api but for a production project you should use the google places api to use the realistic uh, data for states and uh, for each state you need to district uh, you need to display the district wise because currently we are using a dummy data where it's displaying a very few popular districts right so once i choose this data it is going to display the district and i can choose the uh, state uh, district from here and it's going to filter the data based on the all these applied conditions right so if i choose chennai so currently i don't have any record on chennai if i choose Coimbatore, nope that's also empty and if I choose Madurai, so all these vehicles are registered in Madurai, 
right? And if I wish to close these extra filters, I can simply close this just by clicking it, it will be closed. And these are all the different models and you can filter the data just by clicking any of these models over here, right? Perfect. And I can search for any specific data over here. For instance, if I search for TVS or something, and if I click search options, so that is going to filter the record based on the TVS. Not, it's not looking for the exact matches. It's it's looking for the these particular letters coming up in that make name, right? So uh, once you delete it, and if you search again, it is an empty, and it's going to bring back the entire record, right? So we are not so. On few sites, you might wonder, you might see that whenever you are typing something, it is going to filter the record. But here, when this site is having a huge number of data, we should not do that. We need to have a separate button to trigger it. Otherwise, it will keep on trigger the API. So that will be a huge problem for us, right? Then, and we do also have the push notifications. So whenever user creates a new website or uh, sorry, new vehicles or anything, we will get a push notification as a user i will get a push notification as that vehicle is waiting for approval and as an admin i get a push notification that there is a new vehicle has been generated so let me show you that so if i get to the dashboard i can able to see the uh so it's loading so i can see the vehicles which i created so far currently i do have only one vehicles and if i click add new and here I can add a new vehicle, for instance, let's say, um, um, TVS Rider or something. Let me choose the make name is going to be TVS and let's keep this as Ronin. Ronin and let's choose the year. So you can choose the, what is the manufacturing year of that specific vehicle. So the manufacturer year is going to be December 2021 and the price which is going to be three two lakhs seventy five thousand or something. And yeah, and the category it's going to be bikes and the subcategory it's going to be the sport bike and yeah, location which is going to be I'm going to keep it as the TTL and which is going to be manual, petrol and mileage. So far it is uh, driven like a uh, 50,000 kilometers it's been driven and state Tamil Nadu, Coimbatore and so once I choose the state list of district will be updated once I choose the district I can see the postal code and I can't edit it and the report wise it is going to be no accident so far and I can choose any cover images for it for the I don't have any other specific image so let me choose this one okay it's been loaded and and you can see it's having a very customized loading animations as well as and i can delete this image or i can again add one more image it will be replaced and i can choose multiple images as well as and even the drag and drop features will also work for instance if i get into let me bring the what is that uh, let me bring the images over here for instance Let me bring these two images and can see now you can see it's saying that drop the files here if i click it it will upload the both of the files over there so the drag and drop feature is also included in it right so now the multiple files and everything it's been uploaded and once it has been ready i can simply create it as a new vehicle so just click this once it is created it is going to push the user to the vehicles page and you can see the current status is as waiting and uh so it should gives you the push notification because a new vehicles is successfully created and you can see it's also giving a new push notification over here as your vehicle TVS Ronin has been submitted for review. So we have other notifications as well as which is already read it and all these notifications are uh, the series of the unread notification which I do have. So you can see the differentiations in the UI. And I can mark all these uh, notifications as read. So all the unreaded notification will be read now and instantly it will change into the read and unreaded notification will be gone. And if I wish to delete all the notification in an instance, just I have to click delete, it will be deleted. Just like that. See, and then notifications will be deleted. And if I get, if I refresh the admin site, I will get a notification that a new vehicle TVS Ronin has been submitted for the review by the user, which will Ravi, because this is my email address. So that's the reason it's showing that. 
So uh, now all I have to do is to get into the dashboard and I need to get into the vehicles. Currently it's showing the vehicles which comes under um, uh, for my specific user ID for the user ID. But if I wish to see the entire user's vehicles, I need to click the my vehicles over here. So if I click that, I can see the, all the list of vehicles created by the other users as well as currently this vehicles, it's saying it is pending, right? So if I wish to update this, I have to click, I need to review it. So how the vehicles are and how the data and all the things. So I can go here and I can review it, right? So then uh, all I have to do is to approve this. Just click approve. It is going to give you a push notification okay i will get a push notification for the uh see i will get a new push notification over here over here and i will get a push note if i refresh this particular site i will get a push notification along with the status gets approved you can see your vehicle tvs own status have been updated to approved so let me do it one more time so the what i need to do is if the status is still in spending if the status is still in pending user can't view the vehicle if i click this that specific vehicle will not be visible over here because that particular vehicle is still under the status for so if i refresh this see it is still on the pending state so i can't see that vehicle over there but if i approve approve this so every time when you create make some changes we are getting push notifications if i approve it again it is going to say the status has been appro approved and you can see we are getting a fourth notification over here that it is ad change it's approved by the admin and if i refresh it over here also i should be able to see a new notification and as the same way the status is approved and if i get back to the vehicles list i should be able to see the new vehicle which i have created this is the new vehicle which i have created so once i have created i, I will have the options to uh up like what's that the favorite option so i can if i click this i can mark it as a favorite see i can mark this one as a favorite one and if i wish to remove this also i can simply click this again i can remove this as a from the favorite list just like that that will be removed right so uh and you can see it's also calculating the views counts of the web, web pages so every time whenever i open this website or open this particular vehicle it is going to calculate the view count as well as right so if i refresh see if i refresh this it is going to calculate the view count of that specific user id and it will give the use a uh, view count in a more unique way it is it doesn't matter how many times you are refreshing it is not going to increment it it is using the unique property so to calculate the for this specific vehicle id for this specific user id if the user already viewed that vehicle it is going to keep the count as only one so the unique counting method and it is going to have the list of uh, related vehicles as well as right perfect then all i have to do is to like uh, if i want to inquire so for instance, if I click this, if I click this, so it's take it's uh, it's taking some time to load that page. It's because my network is a little bit slow. I think so. That's the reason. So now this is the owner of that specific vehicle, which means this is created by me, right? If I want to inquire about this vehicle, all I have to do is to click inquire now. So that is going to take the user to the chat screen where the user can chat with that specific user. So it is going to create the chat chat room. So a new chat room will be created. Currently, there is no new messages on, on everything. For instance, I'm just going to say hi there. How are you doing? Right. Once I hit the enter, so that is going to push this message. And here you can see I'm having a new message called hi there. How are you doing? What exact time this message it's been pushed? Right. So and if I refresh over here. Okay, so if I get into the chats and there you can see we have a new chat. See, currently on this particular chat room, I have a new message, right? And for the rest of the things, I don't have any badge or anything because the, there is no new message in that. But here I do have a new message. If I click this, 
once i click it i will able to i can able to see that uh, new specific message and the uh, entire message read status will be gone so the batch count is completely gone right and if i reply this to this message so i'm doing great if i hit the enter that is going to send this message and here we go see we're having this message and if i refresh this so if you want to keep the real time interactive and you can see we having this uh, doing and it it says the count it, it gives the count and it's instantly gone because currently we are inside the chat room so it is completely gone right so all the functionalities have been in uh, integrated but if you wish to keep it as a real time chat environment you should choose any real uh, chat um plat short flat chat platforms to integrate with this to keep it as a real socket chattings and all those things right so i hope you understand what example i'm talking about so so we integrated the chat so the user can chat with the users and he can um, discuss about the vehicles and if if you ch check it out over here for the client view we don't we see the vehicles and the chats alone but for the admin view we have the contacts and the overview so in the contacts we have the the person who contacted through our contacts page from here if anyone is contacting us getting trying to get in touch with us that will be saved over here and if you click the overview button we will get the analytics report so uh, how many users are there how many categories subcategories total vehicles and all those informations and if you scroll down you can see user registration trends when the new user has been registered and uh, the total vehicle listing over the time and the vehicle listing by categories so how many vehicles listed on the specific category wise maybe in the future the vehicle uh, listings will by category will got increase depends on the usages and everything so the entire ui charts will looks completely interactive right so we successfully built this project completely from the scratch and all those things so uh, i hope you guys are so much excited to learn much more information about this project and to build this project right so stay tuned for this project so we are uploading two different parts about this project probably it will upload it by tomorrow evening still we are waiting for the processing and we hope so if it is uploaded we will notify you instantly uh, sorry if it is processed we will notify you instantly and we yeah this is it so if you have any questions or regarding about this project and if you are looking for the source code about this project please link in the please click the link in the description below so you can have this project for yourself right so stay tuned for the more innovative and and beginner friendly full stack projects